Hi everybody. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get everything set up here. Um, we'll give just a second for people to get logged on here. Hmm. Hi, can, can everyone hear me okay? I'm not using my cell phone. I'm actually just using the um, my laptop here. Can you guys hear me okay? Hi, Dan. Hi, Holly. Can everyone hear me okay? Thank you, um, Pink Camel. I'm not. I'm not sure who you are, Pink Camel, but thank you, um, you know, for that. Um, okay, we will just t um, give a second for you know people to log on. But once again, um, you know, if you are driving, please don't watch this while you're driving. Um, it will be recorded um, on and put, and put on our Facebook channel as well as our YouTube channel. So uh, we appreciate everyone uh, coming on for us. We're just I'm, I'm just trying a different format. I was told that people couldn't hear me very well and that it was difficult to see you know the the PowerPoint writing anyway. So I thought I'd just talk and you guys can see my face. And if that doesn't go over well, then we'll try something else um, you know for the next time. So. Anyway, um, Suzanne missing the vest. Yep. Well, it's a hundred, almost a hundred degrees here, so that's why the vest isn't on. It's pretty warm. But uh, welcome to everybody. We'll go and get started here. Um, today's uh, you know, Try State Live on Facebook, May fourth, twenty twenty. Um, a couple of things I just want to review. Talk about uh, uh, face coverings, masks. You know, again, talking about some hot spots and some, you know, what to expect as states open up. And then I'll give an update on the uh, COVID nineteen appreciation pay, the cap pay, um, and talk about that for a brief second here. So, um, if you have questions or comments, please send them in. Um, again, I am a one man shop, but I'll but I'll try to to make sure that um, I look at them and, and address it as um, much as possible. Um, face coverings, masks. So the FEMA DOT has been distributing them. And, you know, it, at first it's supposed to be like five or six states. But as, I, as I understand it, they've been distributing, you know, face coverings at a, at a lot of places. And it's really too much to, to number, too, much, too many states to list. Keep an eye out. Um, Google it. You know, if, if you're having difficulty getting face coverings, um, but yeah, you know, the FEMA through the DOT has been distributing you know a bunch of those. We also have a bunch of face coverings at our various facilities. If you're in Joplin, ask for Trudy. You know, at the lodge. Um, you know, it, you know somebody at each location. You know, should have face coverings, and we've got another ten thousand or something like that. You know, on the way. I don't know when we're going to get them. You know, received of course, but we'll get those distributed as you know, quick and, and as often as we can. Um, if you cannot, um, you know, get an official, you know, over-the-ear face covering, you know, again, you know, we've talked about this a lot. Use a T-shirt, use something, you know, a bandana, you know, something is better than nothing. Um, you know, is the best that we can can figure out out right now. Um, I do want to to mention. You know, as we talk about this, I mean, Joplin is going through some storms and, and everything right now. You know, in the event of, uh, you know, a storm shelter, whether it's a tornado or, or other event, I, I, I think they've had some pretty massive um, hail problems the last couple of days. Um, if you do have to, to, to shelter someplace with a bunch of other people, that's your immediate concern, uh, right? I mean, it's a social distancing is important, but... You know, if you all have to pack into some place to a small, you know, you know, area for, you know, to ride out a storm, you know, do that. I mean, don't worry about, you know, I mean, worry about COVID-19, but that's your secondary concern, you know, if you're trying to get out of a tornado or something like that. So, so I know that's come up, you know, not necessarily with us and our drivers, but, you know, I've seen that, you know, concern come up, you know, how do you, you know, do a storm shelter and, you know, so, social distance? Well, maybe you can't, you know, but your first priority should be, you know, getting out of the pathway of that tornado, um, you know, type of thing. So, 
Um, I want to talk about Gallup, New Mexico, real quickly. Um, you know, uh, we sent out a message last Friday that essentially Gallup, New Mexico, off of I-40, right on the Arizona New Mexico border, uh, was is essentially being shut down. I mean, full isolation. I mean, I am not aware of any other you know town in in America that's you know had to go through this you know step of just completely shutting down. Um, if you're going through I-40 and and particularly Gallup, New Mexico, make sure you plan your fueling you know properly so you do not have to you know stop and gallop. Um, you know, it, the 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 is essentially the quarantining of of Gallup was supposed to be lifted today, but as I understand it, um, that uh, has been extended through Thursday, and who knows how long it'll go from there. Um, and and that is something to be aware of. If you normally you know fuel down at a third of a tank or you know a quarter of a tank, you know it may behoove you to to be more. Um, you know, fuel conscious and and pick, go ahead and pick up fuel, you know, at half a tank or, or whatever. Um, you know, particularly in the southwest areas, there are, you know, regions that are, you know, coming up as, as hotspots, especially rural isolated areas. And so, you know, if you can't get fuel in Gallup, New Mexico, you're probably 100 miles, you know, further east to Albuquerque and 100 miles further west to what is it? You know, Winslow or Holbrook or something like that. So, so be aware of that. Of, of that, um, and and be aware that for Arizona right now, there's some particular hot spots. Um, you know, along the I forty I forty corridor. Um, so, you know, Gallup is is being the most extreme, of course. But um, you know, through that that region, which is very rural, um, you know, Arizona's had some some issues with the the COVID nineteen. You know, spreading through that. Um, per capita population at a at a more extreme rate than like you know Phoenix proper type of thing. So, so just be aware and 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 plan for that. Um, as states open up and and last week you know a lot of states started loosening their you know stay at home requirements and started relaxing um, restaurants and, and restaurants were opening and so forth, which is great. But guy you know it, it you know the COVID nineteen hasn't disappeared. In fact, you know, there's a, a, some expectation that as states open up, there's probably going to be an increase, um, you know, in, in testing, uh, I'm sorry, increasing in, in, you know, diagnosed cases. Now, a lot of that's going to happen because of increased testing. I mean, uh, you know, Phoenix, you know, where I'm at, has started doing a lot more testing. And so there's just going to be a lot more confirmed cases, you know, that come through there. But, um, but it's not over. I mean, let's just assume and act as if, you know, um, you know, stay at home orders are placed, even if they're not, you know, it, we, I get emails and questions all the time. Can you send out a list of what states and cities, you know, still have stay at home and which don't? And it's not really practical to do that. I mean, it's um, I would just assume, you know, for and, and it's not the immediate future, probably the long future. Just assume, you know, that face coverings, gloves, you know, washing your hands often, you know, those kind of things are all, all going to be necessary, you know, as you, as you do your, you know, your job and, and, and as your various travel. Stay vigilant. OK, um, you know, we we've you know, I mentioned it last week, but, you know, drivers are getting concerned and frustrated with some of the customer, you know, health check check, um, you know, forms. And, you know, some have gotten frustrated with our health check forms. I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. I think this is the the new norm, you know, at least until there's vaccines, at least until there's immunity testing, you know, and also all of those sorts of things. So, so, you know, you know, we just ask you to manage that frustration and manage that, um, um, you know, process as much as possible. Um, let me check for questions and comments. Um, you know, real quickly, you know, thanks everybody for, you know, has joined us and said hi. Um, Miguel Escalante loves the selling face masks for $2.99 a piece. It tends to be tips. It's probably about the going rate for face coverings. I mean, they're not the you know N95s, you know, virus, you know, blockers, but for a standard, you know, face um, covering, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of them at two dollars to five dollars, you know, type of thing. So that's probably about the going rate. Most of those should be reusable after you wash them, um, you know, type of thing. Um, they're not generally one-time usage, but. Um, you know, you know, pick some up, carry them, use them, because again, I think you know, for the next months, I mean, this is probably our our, our new reality, um, you know, for better and for worse. Um, 
Okay, so the the COVID nineteen appreciation pay we, we did the full month of it. Um, we're still auditing, you know, the numbers, but it looks like we're going to have a total of about two hundred thousand dollars will be paid out, um, you know, to our drivers. And again, I mean, it's you know, as as we implemented this and discussing, you know, this, we've had several drivers that um, have emailed and called me and offering to forego you know, their, their portion of the, um, of the appreciation pay, you know, if it helped, you know, out employees that, you know, have been, you know, um, laid off or, you know, or have been otherwise afflicted on this. And, and it's very kind, very generous. And, and it's, and it's heartwarming, you know, that, you know, as we, you know, everybody within the office and drivers have rallied to support and help each other. And um, I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful to be in a company that's, that um, you know we have that kind of uh, of offering and, and interaction. So thank you to each of you, um, you know that have offered that. Um, you know, with that being said, you've you've earned it. You know, you you're putting yourselves in in, in environments and situations that's not known. You know, I know m many of you have had difficulties finding food when you want it. Um, you know, we just talked about Gallup, New Mexico, not being available. Essentially, probably about a 200 mile stretch which is, you know, what, three or four hours at least, you know, where, um, you know, you really don't have many options, you know, to, to stop or get, you know, and so there's an inconvenience and, and I mean, it's, um, and that, this is what this is in recognition of. I mean, you're also having to pick up extra sanitary, you know, products and, and the nuisance that you have to go through. And so, so we're, we're grateful to be able to be in a position, you know, to, to support each of our drivers and to pay this out. Um, but it, it will be about 200,000 um, in excess of um, our locals have already uh, have been receiving it. Our local drivers have been receiving it, um, you know, on their weekly pay already. Um, you know, owner operators have also been receiving, you know, their extra, you know, portion on a weekly basis. Um, but all of their company drivers will be receiving a lump sum. It should be on your payroll this Friday. And I'll just give you kind of a, you know, ballpark numbers, but you know, the average is, is over $500 per driver. Obviously that's going to, you know, vary. And if you're tracking your miles, then you have a good idea of, of how much to expect. Um, with the high of, uh, I think we're paying out of the high is $872 to, um, to several drivers, um, you know, that reached that mile threshold. So, so expect that this Friday, we are going to be extending this, you know, the COVID appreciation pay, the cap pay through the month of May as well. Um, so, um, you know, that is, world hasn't changed, you know, much from, from April, um, you know, unfortunately. So we will, we will be extending this through May, May as uh, Cheryl, you know, discussed last week. So um, uh, Shane, how many at the company, if any, have gotten, you know, the COVID-19? That's a good question. And I'll share this, you know, with you. Um, you know, it's, it's um, you know, normally we wouldn't share specific numbers, but um, we've had one, you know, um, one case. We've had a lot of drivers that are tested, you know, they showed symptoms, you know, but, um, but it, you know, they were sick with other, you know, the flu or, or something else, but it wasn't, you know, COVID-19, um, you know, within the entire Dasky family, you know, we've had very, very few cases of, of our drivers, you know, getting, you know, um, you know, COVID-19. And so within us, it's been one driver, you know, and, and um, I talked to talked to that driver last week. Um, he's feeling, you know, it, it it was tough. I mean, the first few days, you know, it was you know it was tough, and it's tough for him to you know communicate and talk with his family. But um, he's largely recovered. Um, you know, we're, there's just some documentation we need from you know various health departments, you know, for him to be able to get back to work. But um, as far as I'm I'm aware, he is fully recovered. Um, you know, and everything, but, um, but Shane, thanks for that question. We've had one driver, um, and, and he's healthy again. So, um, we're grateful to each of you. Um, you know, we're, we're grateful for the work that you do. Um, you know, we're as coworkers, as, as, you know, employees of, you know, Roadmaster Group and Tri-State and, you know, various entities, you know, we all have a job to do. We appreciate the job that you guys and gals perform, you know, each day, um, you know, as, as, as we go through, you know, this, you know, this just unprecedented time. So um, we will plan on Facebook live again next, next Thursday. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, email them, call me, 
Um, email is always better. I mean, you know, calling. <laughs> I, I, I do return phone calls, but I might it might be a couple of days. Um, but email tends to be easier. It might be a midnight response, you know, to that email. But, but um, you know, I will get back to you. But, um, but uh, we appreciate each of you. And um, you know, be safe and and hug your families, hug your friends. Thank you, everybody.